welcome to this broadcast of Varsity Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. We are here at New Bremen High School where the Rushi Raiders will take on the New Bremen Cardinals. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Lincoln Electric Automation, Winners Meats, Speedway Lanes, and NK Telco. Again, welcome to New Bremen High School. My name is Greg Murray. My partner tonight, Dave Kanapke. Dave, we get started here with a good one. Two teams uh, with, with both always having expectations in volleyball. Let's we'll start with the visiting Rushi Raiders. Yeah, Rushi coming off a year last year, 16-11, but they made it to the regionals for the fifth year in a row under seventh year head coach Aaron Watkins. Or, and uh, they're expecting a lot. They got nine seniors on this team. Some of their star players, Kate Sherman, a four-year starter, first team all Shelby County League. Their setter, Maya Monin, first team all Shelby County League. Some of the other big hitters, CC Borchers, Ronnie Poling, Carly Scott, Kelby Dosick. You know, they're expecting a lot. And, you know, tonight they'll find out a lot because they're playing against what I call the benchmark. You know, they're playing the <laughs> Bremen team. They're going to know a lot about where they stand. Of course, there's a little bit of question marks coming in tonight for the Cardinals. Yeah, you talk about the Cardinals on the other side. They, this is their first game of the season. Um, and as you mentioned, they come in with a, with a different roster, if you will, an injured player that was one of their big hitters and uh, not near the upper class that the Rushi have. Yeah, they have, a, they have a balance between a lot of the different grades, but the big losses you touched on is Mia Schwitter, Schmidtmeyer was a great player, first team all MAC last year, third team all Ohio. She hit a lot from the right side, was pretty dominant. And they have several players switching positions. Melina Schrader played all the way around as a freshman. She's going to be the only setter in the 5-1 offense for Coach Diana Kramer. Olivia Heikamp, junior now. She's, she's played since she's freshman. She's moving from middle to outside. Abby Powers is back at Libero. And they're switching also. Uh, um, Amelia Dammeyer as well is going to be playing just that. So there's a lot of switching of positions. A lot of unknowns, probably the most unknowns we've had in the last several years right. for the Cardinals, but <laughs> the one known that we have is a big advantage is Diana Kramer, her seventh year, every year in, year out. Uh, great teams, and we'll see where it goes this year for the Cardinals. Yeah, it should be a good one here from New Bremen. We will take a quick break, and we'll be back with the starting lineups and our opening serve. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to New Bremen High School as we get set for our starting lineups. First for the visiting team, the Rushi Raiders. The Raiders are coached by Aaron Watkins. JV coach was Allie Hafer. We'll go to our non-starters here first for the Raiders. And now the starters for Rushi. Number two, Carly Scott. Number three, Cece Borchers. Number four, Kate Sherman. Number five, Maya Manin. 
Number six, Ronnie Poling. Number seven, Kelby Dosick. And the libero, number one, Jillian Chapman. As I mentioned, they are coached by Aaron Watkins. And now the starting lineup and the non-starters for the New Bremen Cardinals. Cardinals are coached by Diana Kramer, as Dave mentioned earlier. Now we get set for the starting lineup for New Bremen. And the setter for New Bremen, number one, Melina Schrader. Number two, Amelia Dammeyer. Number three, Olivia Dammeyer. Number four, Olivia Heikamp. Number six, Rihanna Paul. And number eight, Megan Reinhardt. And the libero for New Bremen, Number zero, Abby Powers. So as we get set for the opening serve here tonight, let's talk about our keys of the game. Those keys brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Yeah, first for the Rushi Raiders, uh, seventh year head coach Aaron Watkins. His keys, serve aggressively. Also they're gonna serve, receive well, and control the net, you know. That's so usually typical keys that you see of the dominant teams. Aggressive serves, good serve receives. And for the New, Not New Bremen Cardinals, uh, number one key, Coach Kramer wants to serve and pass better there than their opponent tonight, the Rushi Raiders. Control the nerves. There's a lot of new players in new positions or first-time starter. At the same time, have some fun here. It should be a great matchup here tonight. Yeah, and you talk about the nerves. This is also the first game for New Bremen. Even though volleyball it's a little different, right? Because they play a lot of preseason tournament and matches and shootouts. So they've been playing. It's not like they haven't yeah. been playing, but this is their first official game. As we mentioned before, Rushi has one in the books already. That they won this weekend. Yeah, they won over Covington in three straight sets. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit off the air. You know, usually, usually New Bremen is more of a known quantity. They seem to be the favorite. That, in that this case, Rushi's a little more of a known quantity. For sure. For sure. I think I'd say it's more of a compliment to, to uh, Rushi how yeah. good they have. They've been building towards this. They made they've won district five years in a row. Coach Watkins has really turned this program around. So they have high expectations. They want to break through and not just get to regional, win regional, right? And then see and what goes their, from there. And, and you know, let's not think past the league. They want to win the league. Yeah. You know, Army's right there all the time, and I don't. I know, I know Rushi has not won since 2020 outright, and that is something on their list as well. So this should be a good one here tonight. And here we go. Rushi with the first serve. Schrader set far side over to Paul. Picked up Rushi's side. Set and blocked at the net. That shot was by Scott. As the action is quick and furious, that is a block, I believe, by Rihanna Paul. We will get our first point of the matchup and that was one of our questions is how would how would New Bremen do at the net? Schmidtmeyer's a body that has some length and some size to her that they lost and we knew that was going to be here and that is an ace from Melina Schrader and if you don't remember seeing her as our freshman she was a very good server and yeah. that is a definite Diana Kramer staple. Yeah they always serve aggressive and they get a lot of points on good serving. That one tipped back over Bremen's side. Schrader tracks it down back to Paul. That one is deep and out of bounds. That point will go to Rushi. Also, the thing to keep an eye on, Olivia Heitkamp, last couple years, has played middle hitter. They have her playing outside, but it looks like they lined her up as more of an outs a right side hitter, so we'll keep an eye on Heitkamp. But I think she's gotten a little taller in the offseason. First serve out of bounds there from Carly Scott. We'll give it back to New Bremen with a 3-1 three, three lead here. Just getting underway here in our first set. If you're just joining us, I'm Greg Burning, my partner Dave Kanapke. And we got a great one to start our NK Telco volleyball season. This one popped up far side, strong hit out of bounds off Kate Sherman. And 
Yeah, just a little bit high there. Sherman, a tall, very strong player, four-year starter. And this All is Shelby County League. Sorry, this is not the start I thought we would see. I thought it would be the other way around. I know it's really early, but Rushi looks more like the team that hasn't played much yet. I mean, Bremen has come out uh, very disciplined as you get a really good hit there from Olivia Heikamp. Last year, Mia Schmidtmeyer was the big right side hitter. They hit a lot of right side that usually works good because the other teams are usually ready for you to hit the left side. And yeah. Olivia Heikamp with her first attempt with a nice kill. I'll be curious to see as the match goes on what happens with Melina Schrader. She's a setter. She was a hitter last year, not just a hitter. Like She had 150 kills. Yeah. She was a good hitter as a freshman. I saw her warming up a little bit, took a little peek, and I saw her kind of doing like a sideways hit from the net because she can hit up there a little bit when she's... So she watched when she's in the front row. She she might turn and, yeah. I think, use that athletic ability. Not saying it's happening. It's just something I was observing because I'm thinking, boy, she's she hits the ball too hard to just be a setter. She's a very good setter. I think she'll do great up there. Yeah, I but, think I think her being the only setter, just she's probably such a good setter. They didn't have an equal to be the second setter. And most teams, I'd say two-thirds, three-fourths teams go with one setter. Yeah, I agree. Well, you know, it, it limits your confusion. You got one person touching the ball that you're similar and familiar with. Yeah. You hope that's a good thing, right? It's a good yeah, setter. I'm not no, sure. Yeah, some confusion at the scorer's table here early on as New Bremen has a 5-1 to one lead. Well, while we got a second, let me pull up my little chart here that tells us when this game is going to be replayed. This, this game, this is, game is sponsored by NK Telco Sports and its sponsors, and we are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's game on NK Telco Channel 3 or in HD and Channel 503. This game will be replayed twice, Sunday, August 28th at 3 p.m. and Monday, August 29th at 5 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and nktelco.com slash sports. You know, one other thing I want to mention, the, the coaches for New Bremen, a couple new coaches, uh, Paige Jones. A couple familiar faces. Yeah, Devin Heikamp, in addition to Jenny Eilerman, Jan Beike, and Janelle Rinderly and Diana Kramer. With Heikamp and Jones, if ever you have a coaches play the other coaches, that would be a strong. <laughs> right. New Bremen have a very strong team as those two finish their college and good that they come back to their alma mater and that's, I'm sure Coach Kramer was thrilled to have them on the bench. And this is a long delay. I was going to say, I'm guessing this has to be a rotation question because what else is there to discuss? Like, yeah, unless you didn't start. I don't know. It's uh, I kept score for a couple junior high seasons <laughs> my daughter played. There's a reason they didn't put me in the high school scoring. Right. It's a little confusing. It is, it's, that's saying it nicely. Yeah, it's, it's a definitely. little tricky how you have to do it. And it's like everything. <laughs> it's one of those that looks easy when you're not keeping score. And if you tend to talk to the other person that well, score them with you. you and we're six is. points in, so there could have been, I'm sure that's what they're looking at. There's probably been several rotations and substitutions. Yeah. I and don't, trying to figure out who was in the initial rotation. Because be the I down official is supposed to check the lineups. He does that little card. He makes sure that everybody's in the right position. Right. And that should match up. They check before with the score. Like, the, who's ever in the one position is the server. And then who's the on the right side, the next, it's it's an order of your server. But evidently, there's a thing. But I don't think they want to tell Coach Kramer that you're going back to 0-0, zero, zero, I don't think. I would be After surprised. After a 5-1 start here. And, uh, so, yeah. It's just, um, but like you say, this. A lot of new pe people in, I don't know, all new play people, Courtney Bremen, but a lot of new places with the people switching positions. And, For you know, sure. I'm, I'm sure they're eager to go, and uh, they've been pointing to this game. You know, they, New Bremen knew Rishi's going to be good. That's no surprise. So they're also looking at this as how good are we? Because right. the league starts already a week from Thursday, so and we all know what the MAC is. And then for uh, Rishi as well, I think they start off with Jackson Center on Thursday, so they got they're right into their league too, some good competition. So uh Yeah, and it's been it's been a year or two since we talked too much Jackson Center. I, they got a very good coach as well and I, I would not be surprised if they're right up there in the, the action as well. Yeah, Kim Metz a couple state titles to her resume with a whole bunch of wins. I don't know off the top of my head, but she always has a great program and you know in the Shelby County League you're always talking Larmy, Rushi Jackson Center, those three, and then you have Anna there, um, are usually the, the front runners in that. So, you know, that's 
big on what we see there. And the MAC this year will be be interesting. St. Henry was state runners up. Their best player though, me and Neekamp was her lot. Didn't even yeah. play. So they have her back. She had an ACL the year before. But they also lost some. And in the Coldwater spike off on Saturday, they St. Henry lost in the finals to Versailles, who has a new coach. So I think they. Uh, I don't know if they, I wonder if they, has there any racer marks in that scorebook I, I, I or I think they just kind of finally yielded and said, let's play volleyball. Let's just play. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, back to live action. This is Rihanna Paul, the serve. We bring with the 5-1 lead. They iced the server. If that was the plan, it worked. <laughs> you know, when you ice the shooter in right? basketball, it's for like one, one minute timeout. That, that was, was a, about five minutes. Yeah, it was definitely a big delay. Here is number three, Cece Borchers. Borchers Serving for Rushi. And Bremen not going to get that one back across. So a couple quick points for Rushi. That time, that that unintentional timeout might have been just what they were looking for. Borchers here back to serve. Short serve. Heck of a save there by Dammeyer over to High Camp. Blocked at the net. Back on the new Bremen side. Cross court. And that drops in. Kill there for number eight, Megan Reinhardt. A little top spin on that one. Caught the edge line. Yeah, Megan Reinhardt, Rihanna Paul, both seniors, didn't play a lot of varsity last year, so they got this last year to prove, you know, this is their we got a, year to show themselves. Sorry, Dave, substitution there for New Bremen. The freshman Mary Rindler checked in. Oh, and also that was a serving there was Kira Steeniger as her serve went out of bounds. So a couple quick substitutions for them, them being New Bremen. And can't quite catch the jersey here from Rushi. I think that's number 11, Simone Putoff it was. She checked in as well. Her serve went out of bounds. Some of these jerseys are tough to get. They aren't completely turned towards you. And yeah. then, oh yeah, the girls have hair that are always you know, in the way. <laughs> served by High Camp. Pushed across on the Rushi side. Nice save by Abby Powers. High Camp back row, nice dig by Putoff. 7-4 in favor of New Bremen. Short shot, track down. Here's High Camp again. Strong shot. Olivia High Camp coming out strong, swinging here. Gets a kill for New Bremen. Tall and lanky. Olivia High Camp, we mentioned off the air. She, she seems like she's gotten taller. She played a lot of middle as a freshman in sophomore and moving to the right side here tonight. Nice dig there by Scott. Strong shot back row from Rushi picked up. Good shot by Reinhardt. Nice dig by the Rushi Libero. That one's going to be battled down for a kill by number four, Kate Sherman. That was probably the best offense we saw so far from, from Rushi. They got a nice dig there by Jillian Chapman there and able to, a couple good swings there by Kate Sherman who goes back to serve. 8-5 in favor of New Bremen. Nice dig by Steeniger. Back set to the freshman, Mary Rindler. Don't have an official size on her, but seeing where she stands on that, I gotta believe she's 5'9-ish, 5'10-ish. Pretty good length for a freshman. Did a good job of executing that slide play. It was the Cardinals back to a four-point lead. Powers deep serve. Picked up there nicely. That one knocked across and out of bounds off of Carly Scott. And you said it before, Davis, like Rushi's just a little bit out of sync. Like that first serve, you know, you catch it off his shoulder and it kind of throws your timing a little bit. And that's kind of where they're at, like that last hit by Scott. Solid hit. She just was a little deep with it, you know, a little bit out of her swing, a little too high on it. And as you know, in volleyball, the whole key, a lot of it, especially a good, good, good team, is your first hit. How you serve, receive, both these teams are good serve servers, so it keeps your team in, in system or not in system. Strong shot there by Rihanna Paul goes out of bounds. So a couple quick points by the Raiders. Jillian Chapman back to serve. 10-7 in favor of New Bremen. Here's Chapman again. That one was an inch or two long. Might have been yeah. out of bounds. <laughs> one hopping off the fence, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of service there so far. No Four fences inside. <laughs> Four, four bad serves for the Cardinals and three for the Raiders. Here is number two, Amelia Dammeyer serving for New Bremen. Nice dig by Chapman, set far side. 
There by number three, and she'll drop the kill as CeCe Borchers. CeCe Borchers, good hitter. One of nine seniors on this team, so a lot of experience on this team for Coach Watkins. Mayamon and one of those seniors back to serve. Rushi trailing by three. Powers with the dig. And there's the, there's the play I was talking about. I might have saw a sneak peek of that from Melina Schrader in the uh, warm-up. Yeah. Boy, she, no doubt with that thing. She's yeah, coming with the hammer. Yeah, she played all the way around, was a very effective hitter. So she's going to do that a lot this year if she has the opportunity. So. And, and why not? When I saw her as a setter, I was kind of a little confused. That made a lot more sense. Yeah. I think you're right. You're going to see that hit a lot. That one goes out of bounds off Rushi. So New Bremen now it's a five-point lead at 13 to 8. The aforementioned Schrader now back to serve. Short serve picked up by Chapman. Strong hit coming down the middle there is number three, CeCe Borchers. Yeah, those are the best two hitters there, Borchers and Shermans. They're starting to get the offense going to her. Right now, both of them in the front row, along with number seven, Kelby Dosick. That serve short and in the net from Scott. Yeah, it seems like Rushi's just a little timid. They yeah. seem a little, I don't know, flat's the right word, but, they, but you know, you got to get some points to get yeah. that momentum going. It's like when you want to come into a game and be calm, but you're almost too calm. Yeah. And so you're not playing your best game. That's kind of where, like I mean, you said, that's where they're at. And New Bremen is ready to play that block straight down from Olivia Highcamp because it is, there's a fine line. Like I always. Oh, there's a quick timeout. We'll get back to that in a minute. We'll take a quick break. You're watching High School Volleyball on NKTL Go Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. 15 to 9 here in our first set in favor of the New Bremen Cardinals. Yeah, Aaron Watkins taking the timeout, trying to get his team in the right intensity. They're like you talked about, am I been too calm or trying to be too relaxed instead of just playing aggressive? Brianna Paul with the serve, picks up the dig. Here is Olivia Highcamp, and I'm telling you what, she was a good player last year. She's really gotten a stronger hit, and she smacked that one through. And th this is one of the, the first year I think she's going to be a feature hitter. She was good always point. in the middle, and there was always a good outside hitter. You don't get a lot of the sets in the middle, and her on the right side is going to be a force all year. That one pushed across by Sherman. Back on to Bremen's side. Far side to Reinhardt. Nice dig by Chapman. Popped back up to Sherman. Cross court. Dug on the Bremen side. Schrader a little close to the net, and that one's going to go point for the Raiders as that one doesn't clear by New Bremen. Yeah, Schrader might have forced that a little bit to the high camp side, and uh, but a big side out here, much needed side out for the Raiders. It's a fast action here tonight already. Like even every point seems like it is just boom, 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 both sides. They're both not wasting any time getting to their, and I know New Raymond likes to play like that for sure. And I, I've talked to Coach Watkins enough too to know that he likes to speed the game up. Nice block there by six and seven. That'd be Ronnie Poling and Kelby Dosick for the termination block for the Raiders. Again, we don't have heights on these either, but Poling there and Dosick look like two of the taller ones on the floor for them. Dan Meyer with the quick bump here over to High Camp far side. Pulled that one out of bounds. So a quick little run here by the Raiders, and it's a four-point game at 16 to 12. New Bremen in the lead. Now this is Rushi's time if they want to make a run to win this game. They need to keep it going here. Back set High Camp, and that's how you end the run. Boy, she is swinging. You know, last year I thought New Bremen hit a lot from the right side with Schmidt Meyer and I think Schrader hit from the right side a lot. Maybe that's the trend that Coach Kramer Maybe, wants yeah. to have. Maybe now you do that, it's yeah, like right. everybody has their best blocker usually right. on the opposite side. Now you have very, very tall true. high camp, so. Steiner with the serve. Nice dig there by Sherman. Pushed across, blocked at the net by the Cardinals. Tipped back over, Schrader with the bump, quick up to high camp, through the double block and down for the kill. That was a great set there by Schrader in that. She had to go backwards yeah, as she said, and, the and then get out of the way for high camp. That's, you won't see that in the any scorebook or anything, but that was a great 
job by the sophomore setter, Schrader. Nice dig there by Scott, setting up Sherman. Greenman not able to get a handle now, and a nice kill there by Kate Sherman. For the Raiders to be successful, they're going to have to get the sets over to Sherman as much as they can. She's their money player. You know, they're, they just got to, really, they're down by five. That's what they fell behind and just haven't been able to pick it up. Schrader with the set to the freshman. Rindler picked up one Rushi. And that one tipped into the net as Maya Manu was trying to slap it across on two. Yeah, tried to mix it up there to do it and didn't, didn't work. I'm sure the Raiders are happy that High Camp are back, is back to serve. <laughs> Here's a nice pop up. And a little too much into that swing was Ronnie Poling. That one will sail out of bounds and bring it up by seven now, 20 to 13 here in our first set. Yeah, I don't have all the percentages on how many, but they, it seems like a lot of serves have gone long, or yeah. a lot of spikes for Rushi have gone long. Blocked there at the net by, I believe that's Rindler and Schrader. Schrader now pops up the set, far side. Steeniger will just bump it across. Far side here, our near side, I should say, Kate Sherman down with the kill. There's Sherman there. They got the set over there, even with the two blockers. She was just too strong as Sherman will rotate to the back row. Raiders trying to climb back into this one, down by six. There's the aforementioned Sherman serving, and that one, like you mentioned, like those aren't just off a little bit. Like they're way long. Like it's one yeah. thing if it's close and you got to make a quick judgment. That's another when it's off by three feet and it's. I think that direction is the west. Maybe there's <laughs> a west wind coming a wind. in. It's yeah, very, it's very possible. Here's Powers with the surf catches oh. the tape. There wasn't too. There must have been a little wind behind that one yeah. too, as it stumbles across. I, I always think those aren't fair. If you you're, hit the, as hard living, as they serve, those are indefensible. You're living right, right there. That's right. And she hit it hard too, and it just flopped over. Yeah, she's coming off a great season where she was first team all Ohio. She's trying to show you that, that wasn't a fluke. She yeah. hit that top again. Strong hit there from, who was that two? That was Scott from Rushi's side. Good cross court shot by Paul. Back and forth we go. Here's put off, or I'm sorry, Sherman, Sherman from the back row. Thank you. That one's going to be too close from Schrader. Nice Ooh. save, but. And I think we had a collision under the net there with pulling in the uh -oh. Schrader. I don't know if somebody landed on. Yeah, I think twisted her. They like caught each other right under the net. It's Ronnie pulling, I think. I, I believe so. Yeah, number six pulling. Yeah, there was. I think her foot got underneath there a little bit. I, I wasn't sure who, which yeah. foot from which team got over. I wasn't sure either. I know Schrader was just going up at the same time, and they were both right up in there because the the set got put a little close to the net, and they were both right there. But you don't see in volleyball very much, obviously, because yeah. they're on separate sides. But and that's. That's just the, that's the thing you don't want to see if you're a volleyball For coach sure. is a sprained ankle because yep. as much jumping as they you linger. do. Yeah, they linger. And well, good to see her get up. Hopefully she can walk that one off, and it just scared her. Glad to see her walking her way off the court there. Nothing but the best there for Ronnie Poling. Hopefully that is just a minor setback, and she's back on the floor here shortly. And that's the other thing. If you're the co coach Watkins here, it's like, all right, she's the middle hitter. I have put somebody else in. You're not going to have a six-foot person on the bench to put in. And then how do you, if she can't come back, how do you adjust your lineup? Right. Do you adjust, who's usually an outside hitter to middle hitter? It kind of changes everything. It looks like number 12, Emma Mullenkamp, is going to get the call. Who, who played a lot of JV action and did quite well. I believe she was their leading uh, yeah. leading hills uh, in the JV action. Is there a limit, Greg, on how many games you can play? Is it like five? I don't, not positive. I know there is in basketball. There, I think is. there is a limit. I don't know what it is. I, and I don't know if it's limited per night or like yeah. there's, I think there's a season count in volleyball. Like it's a little different. I believe it's so many per season. You can play both ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So I guess we'll see as we go along here. Hopefully, Poland can come back. So that one by power sails out of bounds as Bremen now with a 23 15 lead up by eight here in set number one. Jillian Chapman back to serve for the Raiders. And a mishandle there from Paul will give a, an ace to Chapman. And more importantly, cuts the lead down to seven. First ace there for the Raiders tonight. Chapman back again. 
That one picked up by High Camp. Far side setting up Paul. Good dig in the back row by Sherman and a little went to the right. And a strong hit there by Rihanna. Paul gets the kill and one point away now for New Bremen to close out this first set. Coming into the game, the Dan Meyer twins. <laughs> Amelia back to serve and a it's Olivia. easier when they check in together. Yeah, the that's right. <laughs> Two and three. <laughs> it's harder to keep them apart. Here's Amelia with the serve. And she's going to end this first set with an ace. New Bremen taking it 25-16. We're back in just a moment with set number two. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Welcome back to New Bream as we get ready for set number two. The Cardinals taking the first one, 25-16. Yeah, Cardinals came on on fire. They were aggressive. Uh, Coach Kramer had her team, as, even though they were in new positions, sure looked the, the more sharper team. And now rushi has got to overcome. They were a little, they weren't as sharp the first game, and now you lose one of your middle hitters. Ronnie Poland doesn't look like she's going to be getting in the rest of the game. And uh, so now you have to adjust to that. So... You see how the Raiders will adjust here. And some of the leading hitters here, Libby Highcamp, five kills on the night so far. And for the Raiders, you had Kate Sherman with three, CC Borchers with two. All right, so here we go, set number two. This is Melina Schrader starting things off for New Bremen, picked up by Borchers. Rushi's side, pushed across. That is the, well, the replacement, I'll say, for... Uh, Polling number 12, Emma Mullenkamp, and I mentioned it when she came in. She did a nice job during the JV game. She gets her first kill of varsity. Yeah, she looks the part. She's tall and not afraid to swing there. Got a kill. That one tipped across. Nice block of Rushi's side. Schrader trying to get it out of the net. Can't do it. So two quick points here to start set number two for Rushi. I think it's important for Rushi. They got to get the momentum right away here in the early in the second game. Show that they're ready to go and take that momentum back from the Cardinals that at the whole first game. Schrader, far side, high camp. This time on the opposite side, through the block and down for a kill. That's a good way to get the momentum back if the Cardinals <laughs> set it to Olivia and she puts it away with the kill. Six of them already. This is Rihanna Paul now back to serve. Good strong serve. Goes across Bream inside right to high camp. Rushi though able to recover. Three ball and across. Paul, good pass to Schrader. She goes on two and drops it in. And that's a weapon now, you know, like not so much as she can dink it, but showing that she'll turn and hit it yeah. makes you as a player stop and go, okay, what is she going to do? Is she going to set? Is she going to hit? Is she going to pass? And that can keep the middle blocker over at her instead right. of over where who's, somebody was going to hit it. That one deep and just in. I believe that was Molenkamp again, so... Two quick points for her to start this second set. Yeah, it gives the sophomore some confidence there and team some confidence as well as Kate Sherman will go back to serve. 3-2, Rushi's lead. Sherman short serve, picked up off the net. Far side, high camp, tough angle. Nice dig by Sherman and a good save to get it across, but it's going to go out of bounds. Thought Dosek got enough of it there that they would uh, be able to keep it in, but Raymond gets the point, evens it up at three. Time the last couple of rotations, High Camp was hitting from the left side, where I believe in the first game about all of her kills came from the right side. So, see, keep an eye on her as she go along. A couple substitutions coming in the game. We're going to have Mary Rindler in the front row, number 14 and number five. Kira Steinecker go back to serve. 
Steinecker, towards the end of last year, started playing varsity. I'd say the second half. Right. Does that sound right, Greg? Yep. Very effective server and back row player. And right now, there's again some issues at the scoring table. I guess it is the first game or two for the fish. Yeah, you're too, right. right. It's right for the scorers <laughs> too. You know, it's a and they don't get the preseason like the players get. <laughs> you don't you think? Know? No. You don't think they're sitting in the gym here practicing before uh, these matches start, making yeah. sure their pencils are sharpened and they're. Yeah, the recently retired Bob Otterman <laughs> looks like he's in, has things his his book correct there. So. Well, I would never question that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three to three here in our second set. Hopefully the, the official looked like he was about to get back to game here. So hopefully we'll do a quick uh, recap of who we got on the court for the Raiders. Number 12, Emma Molenkamp. Number three, CeCe Borchers. Uh, number seven, Kelby Dosek. Number one, Jillian Chapman. And number four, Kate Sherman. On the New Bremen side, we have number two, Amelia Dammeyer. Uh, number zero, Abby Powers. Number eight, Megan Reinhardt. Number one, Melina Schrader. Number three, Olivia Dammeyer. We're looking, I think, to check in Steeniger and Rindler. Yeah, and I always like how you can't, if you're subbing, you can't go inside the you court. You have to That's stay right. outside. It's like it's a... It's a little bullpen action yeah, before you get yeah. into the game. Yeah, so and again, they're trying to sort through, which, I, you know, I'm sure is a, just an unintentional mistake, whatever it is, but i trying to correct it. Right now, I guess you can go to the, some player, some fans are going to the concession yeah, stand. Yeah, I guess. So. Maybe that's by design. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard people suggest that. <laughs> Dennis Henson suggests that hey, what do they do at college? They play the first two sets and then they have a longer break. Is that good right? Good concession stand. Plus, you, the players get a little bit of break. Otherwise, you get a three-minute break. You don't hey, really get much. Of a I break. like to eat. I think you just get food when you're hungry. Just go yeah, get it. Yeah, there you go. Just stop. <laughs> just stop. Especially announcers, right? I think they should make our mics wirelessly so we can just head out and get a snack. <laughs> yeah. I'd be all in for that. All right, back to action. No food for us. Here's Steeniger. <laughs> Blocked the net, picked off there by Sherman. Dosek blocked up front there by Reinhardt, assisted by Mary Rindler. I believe they, they blocked one earlier in the first set. Yeah, they did a nice double combo there on the block. It gives the lead back to the Cardinals. Seniger now back to serve. Right along the line there, picked up by Borchers, far side Sherman. Sherman gets that one through the blockers and down for the kill. Swung hard there. You can tell whenever you hit it hard, if it rides along the net, you got good power on that one. As the end of the game will be Simone put off for the serve as uh, Emma Mullenkamp did a nice job in her first time around the front row. Gets a break. Just put off to serve for the Raiders. That one's going to be deep and out of bounds. Yeah, still having troubles with the long serve. I'd say about every bad serve, and they've had six of them, have been long. Yeah, that was definitely one of the keys. We, you know, we talked about Coach Watkins. He wanted to be aggressive serving as well. Here is Sherman blocked at the net, and it's Reinhardt by herself that time. Megan Reinhardt with another block. That's the thing that... Freeman always is good at, too, is the blocking game. It's uh, blocking. You not just get that point. You make the spiker think about it. The next Absolutely. Time and there's another one. This time it's Rindler. And they have their number now. They have the timing, what they're doing. And now you, after it happens in a row, you're thinking, all right, do we need to mix things up? The setter will be like, all right, do I need to do a back set here? Right. Anytime you get in somebody's head. Do I need to dink it over like, like that? that? Yeah, but no. And New Bremen able to get it across and block it oh again. Wow. Mary Rindler, the freshman, introducing herself to the varsity squad. And that's a different type of block. When you know the third hit and they're hitting it, but off the quick first hit there, boy, she got a big cheer from the, yes, from the crowd of the Cardinals who I've seen a lot of good volleyball. They know what good volleyball is. Coach Watkins wants to take a timeout. We'll take a quick break as well. You're watching high school volleyball on NK Telco Sports. 
Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Welcome back to New Bream and the Cardinals on top eight to four here in the second set off after a ferocious block by Rindler for the Cardinals. Yeah, Rindler and Reinhardt as they're into the net there. They've had four blocks in the matter of like five or six points there. Yeah, and, and those are two of the players we talked about, little unknown, right? Um, even though Megan Reinhardt's a senior, she just didn't get much of an opportunity the last couple of years to play on the varsity level. Taking advantage of it so far, and Mary Rindler's a freshman, so you know neither one of them really had any playing time. We didn't really know what to expect, and they've so far at this point it's really early, but they played well. Yeah, a lot of players from New Bremen were unknown before tonight, but they're going to be well known the rest of the season if they can keep this up. But we've only played about a game and a half so That's far. That's right. Real early. Momentum changes in this game, like turning on a light switch. Pass far side. That is Reinhardt, picked up by Borchers. Rushi's side. Tipped over by Sherman, I believe that was. Far side, Reinhardt again gets a good swing on that, but out of bounds. So back-to-back -back points on the Raiders side. Yeah, good aggressive hit there by Reinhardt. She just didn't have enough court to work with there. Yeah. Here is Chapman again. Schrader, a little over-the-shoulder hook shot. Dream of dual Jabbar style, wrong sport, I know, but yeah. you know, what, you, what can I say? I'm a Lakers fan. It was a good shot. Yeah, but it, <laughs> Kareem was a righty. That was a lefty <laughs> shot. But, what, but I get the similarity there. Is the, the setter Schrader has three kills already. <laughs> the setter, Abby Powers gets across. Oh, and a nice cross court shot there by Sherman. Other than Kate Sherman and Olivia Highcamp, Schrader has the most kills tonight. Sherman now back to serve. Rushi trailing by just three here in the second set. Powers, good pass up to Schrader, a little overplayed there. Push over, back on the New Bremen side. Oh, that great nice pancake. Oh. Oh, oh, I that, don't. That looked legit, the good pancake. Uh, as you can tell, Coach Watkins not happy. And I, I, I'm not sure I blame him. Jillian Chapman looked like she got a perfect pancake down there. To, but if you're not familiar with the pancake is, it means you slide your hand flat on the ground to save the ball from going down. And I use an MOB term when they have a one or challenge it, they send it to New York. <laughs> right. I think that would send it to New York. No doubt, one, no doubt. You know, the officials, much closer view than what we are. There's a nice hit there by CC Borchers, but wide. You know, so, Rushi just hasn't got that flow. They had a good point here and yep. there, but they haven't had that three good points in a row where they get, where they get good hits and good offense. It just, it's been very sporadic. Well, you're on the road. You had a rough start to start the night. You had an injury. And that's a couple things they got. Not saying they can't come back from it. They definitely can. They've got the talent, that's for sure. High camp. Really impressed with how much harder she hits the ball. And yeah. Show them there. That went up like 10 rows off the off of a Rushi player. From the back row there. It's a great set there by Schrader. And I was thinking Schrader's new at setting. He's like, no. She set a lot last year. She was one of two setters last year, and you can tell she's a very confident setter. Borchers with a nice dump across there. We'll get the kill for the Raiders. That's maybe what they need to do, a little bit of change up there because they, they blocked their fastball, so to speak, on a lot of the blocks so far. Mix up the timing here. And right now, Raiders just need some type of a run here, try to tie it up or get close. Far side to Paul, and it is smoked on that one. Down the line for the kill. You know, the other thing people forget about is the tempo. It's like you got to mix up if you're doing quick sets across or you're doing high. And that was a quick set there, and the blockers couldn't get there for Rushi. Schrader serving for New Bremen. Borcher's able to dig it out. Backside to Scott. Schrader again, far side. She's going to go back to Paul. And a nice dig by Kate Sherman. Sherman will get it from the 10 foot line and smoke it down the line. And Look, looked in. They're yeah. calling it out. Had a better vantage than me, but uh, coach didn't say anything, so it must have been out. That was an athletic play because Sherman didn't have athletic. much time to really set up and jump on that one. 
And another good serve there by Schrader. She drops into ace. Coach Watkins will use another timeout. We'll take a quick break as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. We are here. And here. And here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. 16 to 8 here at set number two from New Bremen. If you're just joining us, New Bremen won the first set. And Melina Schrader putting on a serving show here. I think that's three aces in a row. It's three aces so, f so far for the uh, overall six for the Cardinals, only one for Arushi. That's another way that why New Bremen's winning this game. Miss hit there by Sherman goes out of bounds. And quickly, this was a two point game, and it's up to 10, 18 to 8. That yeah, was eight. 13 to 8, and they've had five points in a row. And, it's and Schrader serving. We, we talked about it off air. You watch her serve, and you're like, nah, it's nothing. But if you see it from the end, like we were talking about, there is some nasty movement to her ball. And, yeah. and, and it works very well, obviously. She did it really well last year, and it's continuing here to start the season. There is Borcher's shot, and... The timing, we mentioned it before, Rushi just clearly out of sync, and that's what happens when your ball starts going deep. Yeah. Your timing's just a little bit off. You're trying to do too much with it. And Schrader doesn't have that real high jump, but jumps enough, and there she mixes it up. Yeah. There's Borchers trying to end that run. Schrader comes from the back row to save it, and Bremen gets it back across. Rushi will have a good opportunity here. Scott with the big run. Great save by Dan Meyer. Far side, Rihanna Paul. Jillian Chapman with the dig. Rushi got the free ball at a cross. Popped up Dan Meyer. Back hit to High Camp, and High Camp will get the kill. This is what I thought you would see from the agreement. And by this, I mean quick in the back row. They've yeah. got a lot of athletic ability. Dan Meyer is good in the back row. Uh, Schrader's good in the back row. Abby Powers is excellent in the back row. They're going to make teams, I think, really fight to get points. There's another ace. Yeah, good point, Greg, and, and that's the thing you don't think of as the back row, but they have had a lot of good oh, hit, a lot of good we, saves and there. And we forgot to mention Seeniger, who, who is the same way. You know, they, yeah. They've got a lot of depth at that position, and Schrader's just putting on a clinic right now in, in the serving. 23-8, to you yeah. Raymond on some kind of run here. She's had five aces here in this run. Unbelievable. In about, it was, I think it was 14 when she served. <laughs> and so she had is, five out of nine. And this is no slouch team. Rushi is very good, and yeah. she is having her way right now. And High Camp dumping it in, <laughs> knocks it home, and they're just one point away from taking a quick two set to none lead. Yeah, making a statement here is just taking over with her serving on the line. Six. Set number aces. two in the books. New Bremen 25, Rushi 8. We'll take a short break and be back with set number three. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a better future. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Welcome back to New Bremen as we get ready for set number three. The first two taken in convincing fashion by New Bremen, 25-16, 25-8.
There was two really impressive runs that New Bremen had. Early on you had in that game, you had Reinhardt and Renner having four blocks within like six points. Yeah, damn, Melina Schrader, she had six aces within a matter of like 10 points. She hit, she's like pinpointing where it was at. Just an impressive second game. Here we go, back underway. Here is Rihanna Paul blocked at the net. I'm not sure if it, I think it went out of bounds. So point will go to New Bremen. There's a double block set up there, I believe, with Chapman and uh, Maya Mon. And if I'm not mistaken, Chapman took her libero shirt off. Yes, she did. Just happened to notice that. So trying to change things up here a little bit. So they have her playing in the front row, you know. Right, These right. liberos, they're very good athletes, so they're trying to mix things up here. And just happened to notice that when I look down, like there's no odd color here, and she's still out on the court. So he just joined us. One of their middle hitters, Ronnie Pulling, sprained her ankle about halfway through the first game. So trying to adjust from there. Great effort there by Schrader, but I think she slid under the net. And they caught on a lift on. Oh, that you're one. right. Did he call a lift? My mistake. Yeah, so Chapman no longer the libero, going back to serve. Her, her inner hitter in her, I'm sure, is like, hey, I get to hit some balls tonight. <laughs> right? There's a back set to Rihanna Paul. She pushes that through the double block and gets the kill. Through the years, I always think, Raymond, the way they hit the ball, they just have different leverage. They seem like they power more than the other team does. And I think that's part, Diana Kramer was a very good hitter as Diana Whipker at St. Henry and later Duquesne. <laughs> Schrader lost her footing there going for the ball. Caught a little sweat on the court and a good, good point there for Rushi. A good hit there by Rushi. Rushi, you know, you're down 2-0, but right now they just need to play a good good set here. Yeah, well, definitely. This is a momentum game 100%. So, you know, and the other thing is at some point, there's just some perspiration on the floor. At some point, they might meet each other in regionals, and then it's like, you don't want to go in thinking, oh my God, we couldn't even touch them. It's, right, that's right. a hard barrier to overcome. You take a set here, and it's like, okay, we just started out slow. We were playing on their court, you know, for their confidence. For sure. Down the road, and as a, you know, I'm sure they've been pointing to this game going into the off season, as much as what girls play volleyball and club in the summer. Here's Borchers with the serve. Cross court set to High Camp, and that is straight down. Already in double digits with 10 kills. Yeah, that's just, you know, you talk about horizontal hits <laughs> and vertical. That was pretty vertical. That was pretty vertical. Not your right angle, but pretty close. That so gives New Bremen a 4 2 lead here in set number three. Steininger back to serve. Picked up and out of bounds off of. I think that was Scott, Carly Scott. So that'd be an ace by Steinecker there. Now seven aces for the Cardinals. Steinecker back again, right at Scott. She gets that one across, and a lucky break there for Rushi as that was all dialed up for Megan Reinhardt. Timing was just a little off. Rare hitting error tonight for the Cardinals. They hit some long, but not one that they just missed hit there. You're going to have those, but... Yeah, it's a good point, though. They have not hit many balls, into at the least net. to this point, into the net or out of bounds even. Like, that's a great example. Kate Sherman wide open right there and just overswung it. Ball goes out of bounds. That's just giving a free point back to your competition. And part of it is they've been blocked a few times, so now you're trying to hit around hitters instead point. of just hitting it. It's a good point. Here's Scott down the middle. Abby Powers somehow got a hand on that. And what a great save. That's what, that's what I was talking about before. Their back row, very good. And that one rolls off the net. Things just not going Rushi's way. And when you do that, you demoralize. It's like, well, what do we have to do to stop it? And then you don't, you keep the hit going and the, make the other team make a mistake. And that's what I'd they I'd love did. to see that replay from Powers. I'm not sure how she got her hand on that ball, let alone pop it up for a teammate. And that one miss hit by Highcamp goes out of bounds. So Rushi. Trying to get some momentum going here. They're trailing by just three, seven to four here in set number three. Kate Sherman now with six kills. Is senior trying to get her team rolling here. Put off, checks back in. She was served for the Raiders. Powers. Schrader back to the 10 foot line to High Camp. Picked up by Scott. Hit that over to Chapman. A converted Libero. And there's that little dink. 
Lena Schrader. I'll go on record to say that she'll have the most <laughs> kills for any setter in the league this year area. And she's got four already. Well, that'll be that'll be one of the weird setups, right? Yeah. You see, usually see outside hitter, MH, middle hitter. This one's going to say S slash hitter. And, yeah. At H. It's not going to have a position for it necessarily. It's just going to say S slash H. Yeah. And she's, you made a good point earlier. She, if you didn't watch the Bremen last year, she sat when she was in the back row and she, and she, she had a, she played all the way around. So right. she hit a lot last year. Right. So. And she's athletic enough to, to make it be very effective. There's an effective hit. Kate Sherman coming through for the Raiders for the kill. Nice hit there from the right side. Jordan hits from the left and uh, did a nice job as she goes back to serve. 9 5, New Bremen on top. Rushi trying to get things going. Schrader for New Bremen back to high camp with a 10 foot line, and she smokes that one off of put off. You know, I was thinking how they've been setting high camp a lot in the back row, and then it dawned on me. They got a new bet. They got a new <laughs> coach there. I know where you're going with this. Paige Jones, I can't say she invented back row hitting, but she was unbelievable in her years. She, she how wasn't she could too hit. bad from back there. Yeah, so you have somebody on the bench it's a to great coach point. Olivia Highcamp on the finer points of, I think a lot of it is you always got to get high enough. Yeah. And she's tall enough that it that makes it a little bit easier for her. Well, and you got to be able to hit it good. You know, yeah. you can't just float it across there. You got to hammer it, and she's definitely gotten uh, better at that arm swing. And if you have that back row hitters effective, you, in effect, have four hitters. You know, you have right. the three in the front row, and you have somebody from the back row. Rushi climbing back into this one, 10-7. Here's Paul blocked, and that one down. CC Borchers right there with Jillian Highcamp, or I'm sorry, Jillian Chapman. And Rushi now quietly sneaks back with him, too. Yeah, they need a little bit more of that. That's only their second termination block they've had of the night. Dan Meyer pops this one up to Paul. Back on the Rushi side. Chapman floats it over. Here's High Camp. Far side back to Paul. I think we're going to get a double hit called there against the setter. Yeah, so here's a little momentum here. It's a chance for Rushi to tie the game, which they haven't been tied since about early first game. Powers, Schrader over to Paul, hits the antenna. And as you mentioned, right on cue, it's even at 10 here at set number three. And this is the only time all night that the Greenman's got a little bit of struggle here. It's a little flat. Yeah. That's what confidence does to you sometimes, right? You get a little overconfident. This one popped back over to Rihanna Paul, and this is this is what happened, right? Yeah. Now they look like Rushi a little bit. A little hurried, swings a little too hard. I see it a lot in games where the whoever wins the first two, especially if they win it easier than thought. That third game, I'll tell you what, yeah. it's hard to nail it. Lethargic. Yeah, you think, okay, we got it. And if Bruce can take advantage of this, and right now they got a two point lead. Yeah, and a couple plays there where you're like a little out of position, you, you stopped yeah. playing quite as hard, and now you got to regroup. And it's not easy to just say, okay, I'm going to turn it back on. You know, you had it on this whole time, and now you got to refine it. Yeah, That's I why I say this game is a big momentum switch. Again, it's trying to get out of the coach Kramer. Tried to let him work yeah. through it. She called timeout. I was just saying, she doesn't like to use the timeouts that she did there. Quick break in action. Rushi on a big run up 13 to 10. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Talco Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Back to live action here, 13 to 10. Rushi on top, trying to get back into this match, trailing two games to none. Nice block there. Paul knocks it across, another good block. CC Borchers. Borchers doing a heck of a job blocking. There's a double hit. Borchers blocked two in a row there. Technically, won't get a termination block there, but she made that point for him. Yeah, and they're tough one on one, that's for sure. Rushi on a big run here. Bremen trying to answer. 
Popped up to High Camp in the back row. There's Borchers again. Raymond scrambling to try to get something going here. Get it to Paul. And there's Borchers alongside of Chapman, but I think it went out of bounds. So yeah. break there for New Bremen. Break for New Bremen is Rushi one on run. They had about six points in that time. And uh, wow, but right now we have Schrader back to serve. We know he should have the last time. Rushi going to have to fight to get that across, and they do. Right back to Schrader. Here's High Camp. Good dig there by Sherman. So Rushi trying to return the defensive favor. That was a great save on their side. And <laughs> Schrader just is like, nah, I'm done. Pushes across for a kill. Five kills. <laughs> the league leader in setters with kills in the state of Ohio, I, I'd say. I'm not a lover of that quick push no, shot. No, I'm not either, but. but They've been wide open when she's done it, and she has it like it's hard. Like, you know what I mean? It's not that lofty. It's almost like she's hitting it across when she does it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's you don't not... want to do it too much. Right. Usually about one a game, usually. And now she's up to eight aces. Yeah, another great serve line of the last serve. And there's another strong one. Kate Sherman fighting to just get a hold of that one. Schrader back sets high camp, and she takes that one straight down. And just like that, it's even. Four straight points by New Bremen. 14 all the Once momentum Once they got shifted. the side out, Schrader went back to serve. Olivia Heitkamp in the front row, and this is probably one of their stronger rotations. And, and I thought they got that set a little close that last time because it was like right at the net, and Heitkamp able to just take it straight down. It was a very good hit. And there's another one through the block. She is definitely feeling her hit. You know what I mean? Like you get it a little too close to the net, and I thought that's where she was going to be, but boy, she, she delivered back-to-back -back good shots there for New Bremen. They retake the lead. 13 kills for Olivia Heitkamp. Schrader again to serve. Just a little bit long. It dropped at last minute. I was going to say that looked really close. Dang it if we only had a replay here. And I, th <laughs> yeah. and I think that's the only the first bad serve Bremen's had in the last two sets. 15 all here in set three. And not what you need if you're a Raider as Chapman's serve goes into the net because they need this game to stay in this match. Yeah, they were sure happy to get out of that rotation for New Bremen, get the ball back, but they need to hang on here. Paul with the serve, catches the top of the tape for the ace. Another ace, that puts them over at 11 aces on the night. Rihanna Paul back again to serve, two point lead for New Bremen, and that one knocked out of bounds will be another ace for Paul as the lead increases up to three. That'll lead to a Coach Watkins timeout. We'll take a quick quick break as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Back to New Bremen. We are in the third set. New Bremen took the first two in convincing fashion. 25-16, 25-8 in a dogfight here in the third, 18-15. Yeah, it's, it's been momentum back and forth. Rushi had it. New Bremen's grabbed it back. Well, yeah. I don't think ever made it over. Yep. I was going to say, High Camp and Danmeyer there at the net if needed. But like you said, I don't think he even got high enough to clear. So a four-point lead at 19-15 for New Bremen. This is a rotation that Ronnie Pullen would normally be in the middle of the back row. And there's another ace for the Cardinals. Miranda Paul with three aces in this service run here as well. Another timeout. Another quick timeout. I'm just going to keep it right here. I'd like to uh, quickly thank our sponsors for tonight's game. Keel Pizza, Precision Strip, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Lincoln Electric Automation, Winners Meets, Speedway Lanes, and NK Telco. Also like to thank our timeout sponsor, Precision Strip, our New Bremen Live View sponsor, Speedway Lanes, and our Player of the Game sponsor, NK Telco. Dave and I will pick a Player of the Game at the conclusion of this game. Thanks again to NK Telco for sponsoring that. I think one of the key stats of the game 
14 aces for New Bremen. Only one, only one for New Rushi tonight. Definitely. That's, that's, that's 13 points you're getting there. That is a lot. And nothing else, that, that's not counting all the balls that you hit well that, you know, didn't go for an ace but took the rotation out of yeah. sync. Great save there by, I think that was, that was Sherman in the back row for Rushi. Here's Highcamp with the hit. Sherman again fighting back there and a great tap over by Rushi. New Bremen and Eric Schrader, Kate Sherman was all over that back row that time for Rushi. Unfortunately for the Raiders, the Cardinals still get the point off of Molina Schrader dunk across. And every MAC team has taken note of this yeah, game they as they are going to be watching for that. <laughs> That'll be a scattering port and another ace. Rihanna Paul, her first varsity start, four aces here. She's been solid all the way around, and uh, she's capping it off with a nice serving run here. Seven-point lead now for New Bremen. That one dug by Chapman, and <clears throat> that one powered into the net from Carly Scott. As this game has took a giant twist, it was 14 to 10 in favor of Rushi. Yes. Just a few points ago, and New Bremen quickly turned it on its head. It's a 13-1 like, run here. A good block at the net, a couple of saves. <laughs> Look like a what was that little game you play out in the sand? The uh, spike ball. Looked like a little spike ball action on there for a second. I was thinking Plinko there. <laughs> CeCe Borch has really come alive. She had her second termination block of this game. And, and unfortunately, it rolls in. It just hasn't been Rushi's night here tonight. And that'll take us up to match point for New Bremen as Steeniger and Rindler will both check back in. Steeniger right to the serving line, 24-16 in favor of New Bremen. Looking to close out the match. Overplay there. Dosek able to get it across. Schrader, quick set to freshman. Mary Riddler, and that will do it here tonight from New Bremen. Cardinals taking it straight sets. We will take a short break and come back with our post-game wrap-up. You're watching high school volleyball on NKHL Good Sports. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bomb. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Welcome back to New Bremen, where the New Bremen Cardinals defeated the Rushi Raiders in straight sets. The scoring went like this, 25-16, 25-8, 25-16. Before we get to our post-game stats, I'd like to remind everyone that NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's action, this high school volleyball action, on NK Telco Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503. This game will be replayed twice, once Sunday, August 28th at 3 p.m. and also Monday, August 29th at 5 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com forward slash sports. And here with our post-game stats is Mr. Dave Knapke. Thanks, Greg. You look at the overall team numbers in our cab report. 26 kills 
for New Bremen against only 11 for Rushi. The aces 15 to one and the blocks six to three. That's really the big difference in the game. Again, 26 and 11 on the kills, 15 and one on the aces, the big numbers there. Some individual numbers first for the Rushi Raiders. They fall to 11 and one or one and one on the season. Kate Sherman led them with seven kills. CC Borchers with three kills and two blocks. Ronnie Poling had a block before in the first game after she left with a, some type of an ankle injury. That was a big part of the night as well as that kind of took the wind out of the sails of a very good Rushi team. They'll regroup from here. Uh, for the Nebraska Cardinals, a lot of good stats all the way around. Melina Schrader, six kills from setting. She had eight aces. Six of them was in us. About a 10-point stretch in the second set. Olivia Heitkamp with 13 kills. And then some of the others, Rihanna Paul with six ki or three kills, four aces. And some of the others, we have Olivia Dammeyer with a kill. Kira Steinecker with two ace, with an ace. Megan Reinhardt with a kill and two blocks. Mary Rindler with a kill and two blocks. And you know, going in this game, Greg, we foolishly was wondering what kind of, <laughs> if what, what did, how good New Bremen is going to be. Well, it, you know, death taxes and New Bremen is always going to have a good volleyball team is what I'm they, taking away they, here. They're going to be all There's right. There's only certainties in life. Yeah, there, it's only one things. game, that's for sure. But what a it, game it there. was definitely a convincing win from the Cardinals. A pretty good all-around balance. I, I'm doubting Coach Kramer thought she was going to get 15 aces. But uh, I'm sure she will gladly take it any day of the week. Yeah, I think it, it shows you, you know, they played that solid back row. They served well, played great back row. And Olivia Heitkamp is a force uh, that is going to have to be reckoned with. Melina Schrader is doing great from the setting position. If you're Rushi, you tuned in this, you know, there's going to be much better days for Rushi all year. For they're sure. going to have a lot of wins this season. It wasn't their – they started out a little flat, and then when you lose one of your – one of your starters, and they really only play about seven or eight. Right. That just kills you in volleyball. Yep. And when you, your middle hitter, now you got to adjust things. And it just wasn't their night. There'll be better days ahead for what's going to be a very good Rushi team this year. So before we close out here tonight, we'd like to talk about our player of the game. And that player of the game is going to go to number one, Melina Schrader. Yeah, what can you say? You know, six kills for a setter is unbelievable. And then to have eight aces on the same night, six of them in that stretch in the second second set was just unbelievable she was she mentioned greg you mentioned she was like ping 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 she was hitting every yeah. zone out there she was she's just picking the zone and hitting it that's for sure yeah she uh you can see why she's a full-time setter and, and i guess she's still a part-time hitter i guess this year <laughs> right. so congratulations melina schrader <laughs> our player of the game and congratulations to new bremen they go up one and oh on the season get a good start and good luck to the rushi raiders they're one and one as well thanks everyone for watching our pro our show. Uh, thanks to Dave, my partner Dave Kanapke. I'm Greg Burning and have a great evening.